Yeah, you definitely can use prolotherapy for tendonitis, but I just want to really explain the terms because it seems like every single person who comes in like with an elbow problem, it's like I got tendonitis. And then when you do an MRI, if the problem has gone on more than three months, it almost always shows tendinosis. So a lot of people don't realize when, you know, like say you're playing tennis and then all of a sudden right away it, your elbow hurts, yeah, you probably inflame the tendon. So a tendon specifically is what attaches the muscle to the bone. So, you know, like in other words, when I say I have a dumbbell and I do, a, a, I do some weight lifting and I contract my biceps, this is the biceps muscle, then there's a small stringy tendon that attaches to the bone. So what normally gets injured is the tendon versus the muscle. The muscle has a really big blood supply. It's basically red. The tendon is white. Tendons are like ligaments. They're white. Why are they white? They don't have a good blood supply. So in other words, if I did too much weightlifting, I might get a bicipital tendonitis. So that's what happens right away. If my tendonitis doesn't go away, and it keeps going on and on and on, I, and I keep weightlifting, or I keep putting stress on it, the tendonitis turns into a tendinosis. A tendinosis means the tendon is degenerated. Either way, what needs to happen is that tendon has to get stronger. So the bottom line is when you have pain in a spot where a tendon attaches, it doesn't matter if it's a tendinitis or a tendinosis, it doesn't matter whether the tendon is inflamed, or the tendon is degenerated, I can guarantee you to get rid of that pain, you gotta get the tendon stronger. The treatment to get the tendon stronger is prolotherapy. So we just do prolotherapy where the tendon attaches to the bone because that's where the weakness is. So we do, ten, we do prolotherapy where the tendon attaches to the bone. That causes where that area to get stronger, to, for the tendon to get thicker. And when the tendon is sufficient strength, for me to do weightlifting or whatever I want to do or the athlete wants to do, the pain goes away. So I wouldn't worry too much if somebody has a tendonitis and they're wondering like, geez, it's inflamed, I got to get a cortisone shot. Just realize a cortisone shot might temporarily give you pain relief, but it's not going to cause the tendon to get healthier. It actually, it would block the pain response. So then if you do exercise, like you go play tennis and you have like tennis elbow, uh, a tendonitis of the elbow and now you do a cortisone shot and then you can't feel the pain when you're playing tennis even though the thing's all weakened, you're just gonna make yourself worse. That's why people say, well, cortisone shots, they wear off. No, it's not that they wore off, they never did anything to repair, the thing's still injured. The only thing that wore off was that you don't, it's not blocking the pain response anymore. That's what wore off not the benefit. In other words, now you can feel the way your tendon felt all the time. You just couldn't feel it. So it's not good. It's not good. It's not good to do it because you're just going to get yourself into further problems. So a much better approach for tendonitis, tendinosis is prolotherapy. Now, sometimes the joint is also unstable. So the tendon is getting all inflamed or it's getting degenerated because that joint, it's moving around too much. Like in other words, if a tendon goes near a joint and moves the joint, but the joint's moving too much because the person has a ligament injury, that's gonna put additional strain on the tendon. So sometimes with prolotherapy of a joint, we have to treat not just the tendon or the tendonitis or the tendinosis, but you have to treat the joint instability so we treat the ligaments also. So that's what we term or I term as comprehensive prolotherapy. Comprehensive prolotherapy treats all the structures in the joint that are not of sufficient strength to stabilize the joint, to move the joint through the pain-free range of motion. So we don't just necessarily treat the structure that's quote unquote causing the pain or painful. We'll also treat the joint structures that are stabilizing the joint because they're part of the problem. Like when someone has a knee problem and they have patellar tendonitis, I'm just telling you, nine out of 10 times, they got a loose anterior cruciate ligament. So you examine the knee and it's going clunk, 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 and I'll say to the young athlete or the athlete, do you feel that? And they're like, oh yeah. Well, they already had like all kinds of treatments for the patellar tendonitis. Well, it's no wonder the patellar tendon's hurting so much. The knee joint's moving all over the place. So the real problem is 
knee joint instability caused by anterior cruciate ligament laxity. So you have to do prolotherapy to the anterior cruciate ligament. That's the real thing that's going to get the athlete better. So definitely for tendonitis, tendinosis, joint instability, prolotherapy is a great treatment.